so today I want to show you a few things about um, the way water is working and how we can take care of our water. So water pollution, this is the word water, pollution, pollution means there is some kind of contaminant. A contaminant is some kind of dirt or chemical that we don't want inside of something. That's called pollution, right? So let's take a look at this sentence. What is water pollution? What is this stuff that I'm talking about? Well, let's go have a look. What is water pollution? Well, water pollution is the contamination. Contamination is the dirt or bad chemicals inside of water bodies. That's a new one. Water bodies. All right, so we got dirt and chemicals inside of our water bodies. And now you're thinking, Mr. Martin, what's a water body? What does that mean? Well, I think I can explain that to you. What are bodies of water? This is just another way of saying a water body, a body of water. So what these are, they are the, the lakes, they are the rivers, they are the oceans, they are the aquifers and also the groundwater. The water deep under the ground, that is the groundwater. So when you have a large amount of water put together, it's all in one spot, <clears throat> we call it a body of water. <clears throat> That's what it is. It, it could be different form, sometimes like a, a lake, is kind of standing water. I mean, it's it's just still. It's just, it's not moving. And a river is moving water, but it's still a body of water because it's a large amount of water all together. The ocean, the ocean looks like it's not moving, but it is, it's moving around a lot. There's waves and there's also ocean currents that take the top water and bring it somewhere and the bottom water and bring that somewhere else and so it's stirring and mixing all over the place right all right let's look at the next slide Ooh, i think this has some new words for us all right let's read it what causes water pollution so the word causes, causes also means to make, what makes water pollution. And I'm writing really slowly because I forgot my tablet. So I'm writing with my mouse. What makes water pollution? What causes water pollution? Unfortunately, what's really sad is we are all helping to cause water pollution. But, good thing, we can all help to stop causing it as well, right? So, one way is called agriculture. That means the, the farming. What happens is, when you're a farmer, you got to take care of all your vegetables and your trees. You got to take care of your rice and you plant the seeds, you water it, everything is perfect, and then insects come. Oh dear. So you have to spray something to get rid of the insects. And then everything's okay for a while. And then bacteria, algae, fungus, all sorts of other things come. And then you have to spray a different chemical. To get rid of those things because nobody wants to eat rice full of bacteria right so you have to spray something on there and what happens is 
we spray and we spray and we spray and we spray and all of that spray doesn't stick to the plants some of it runs off and goes into the river into the groundwater into the lake that's nearby and now all those chemicals from the farm are inside of our water oh dear um, so one way that we can help is by teaching farmers how to use organic kinds of chemicals these are these are uh, products these are sprays and things that aren't really strong and don't hurt the environment so much all right next one this is called acid rain and acid rain is when dirt and contaminants and pollution go up into the clouds they come from the ground the groundwater and they raise themselves up with heat and sun and they stick into the clouds the clouds move somewhere and when it rains down comes some of the pollution so this is called sewage and this is when all of the water from the bathroom and the street drains and your sinks and your showers and all of the factories and everybody using all the water they wash their hands the dirt comes off your hands it goes down into the drain all of that we call sewage and the sewage has to go somewhere we can't keep it in our house so we send it down to the bottom of our house from the house it goes to the roads from the roads it might go to a river it might go to a treatment plant where the government will try to clean it up and then push it out to the river um, it's different in all the areas that you might live um, some people have little tanks at their homes some people have big big tanks uh, some people have two or three different tanks to clean the sewage a bit uh, kind of like hold the the big dirty stuff and let the the cleaner water float off the top but uh, that's called sewage uh, another one down here these are factories and factories make all of our products all of our things you know the factories made my favorite little fan but when the factories are building these things they have machines machines need oil machines need cleaning machines need maintenance and some of the the plastic and things that they use are cut off and shaved off and that stuff needs to go somewhere and the problem with that is sometimes it gets into our water maybe a factory is a little bit lazy or maybe a factory has a broken pipe or maybe the, the government doesn't really know about uh, how bad this factory is and that some of the chemicals and things get into our water all right so here are some other bullet points i'm hoping that you can think of ways that we can pollute our water can you think of some for me there's one two three and four there's four bullets that we didn't do yet how do you think water can become dirty how do you think water can become polluted what do you think causes water pollution what makes water pollution have a think about that um, if you want you can send me a comment a chat or something and let me know if you have some ideas about what causes water pollution all right let's go to the next slide I have some pictures for you about some really terrible things that are happening 
like this one. That is a very dirty place. And if you look closely, these guys are dumping some really ugly stuff into the water. And it's kind of sad they're using the river like to clean their area. I don't know what it is they're dumping, but it's going into the water. They're not cleaning their dirt. They're just moving it somewhere. When you pour it, it goes into the river, right? Is it gone? Does it disappear? No, it just moves somewhere. So he just moved his terrible stuff down the river. Is there another house down here? Is there another house down here? What if there's a school down there? Uh oh. And this ship, it was doing just fine, just doing what ships do, floating around, sending some products, and then boom, oops, I broke my ship. I have a, a leak, and all the chemicals and oil and stuff are spilling out. You can see the gray, terrible, thick stuff that's coming out on the top. You can also see it down here under the water. You can see it spilling out around there. It looks as though it's already floating out to the sea around there. This happens sometimes and we don't want to do it, but we're, we're moving back and forth so many things, so much oil and other chemicals all the time because we, we need to. We need to use our cars and our factories. So we put a lot of things on ships and sometimes the ships have some problems and they break, they get holes or get broken like this and we accidentally drop a bunch of stuff into the water. And it's, it's really hard to clean up. Uh, like we, we talked about earlier, the ocean water is always moving around. Once you drop this oil in here, not very long, it's gonna start moving around. And then after that, you can't clean it anymore. So this is a picture we have a bunch of water around here. The water probably extends out. And it looks like we have a really big factory with some smokestacks, probably causing air pollution. And something they're doing down here is going up or down into the area very close to the water and this is what I mean by factories creating water pollution sometimes just a little bit sometimes a lot but factories have a big effect on the water you know what they do sometimes is they bring water into their factory and they cool down machines or they use the water to heat up something like they will use the steam to push a turbine or something around there and then when they're done with that water they push it back into the ocean or into the river and it's not very dirty but it's much different than it used to be so they change the water in this area a lot and animals and other things they, they really can't use that water like they they could the fresh clean water oh dear this is some kind of red and orange brown looking stuff it's even got some some bubbles on it there's some some foamy bubbles up at the top uh, luckily there's still some plants growing but I hope the plants can live for long. 
because there's definitely some pollution in this water. This is something that we see a lot in Thailand. Uh, but this is not Thailand, this is a picture of Canada. And you can see the clean water, but inside this area is a bunch of trash, plastic, foam, an old car tire. And this is definitely water pollution. This hurts the fish, it hurts the plants around the water, it also hurts the animals. You know, the little turtles and things, they get stuck in the plastic. Birds sometimes will eat parts of it thinking that it's food. Uh, a really terrible thing that we all need to help to stop and we need to help to clean it up. <clears throat> now this is looks kind of like green swirly slime but I wouldn't play with it if I were you and what this is is uh, from a farm what happened here is the farmers were spraying something to make their crops make their their plants grow up and they sprayed so much that the plants were really happy but that chemical kept going it ran off of their farm and got into this water and the algae is starting to grow because this chemical makes plants grow but if you spray too much it will get off of your farm and make everything grow and that's actually really bad it's not good for the area because there are animals down here below the algae that don't have the sunlight anymore and the algae also changes the amount of oxygen inside of the water so it's it's a bad thing very bad thing as you can see it doesn't look natural it doesn't look okay and it's, it's that's true it's, it's not okay uh oh this looks familiar this is a train we call it a storm drain or a street drain and everything flows into the street drain. I can see something there that kind of looks like some plastic. Looks like a little bit of plastic here. Maybe some rocks and pe pebbles. Those are not so bad but what happens is a lot of the little tiny bits of rubber from your car tires the uh, metal from your disc brakes and all of the chemicals they use in the braking systems of cars. It's all that dusty weird stuff that flows off of the road and it gets into these storm drains. These drains, most of them, they go to rivers. And from the rivers, they often go to lakes and they often go to the oceans. So all of that dirty stuff, it doesn't just disappear. It goes into another body of water. So we can't be pouring stuff down there. We have to try and keep everything clean. This is a picture of um, California. This is California over here. And this is Mexico on this side. This is like a wall between them. Um, but this is a, a, a river outlet and this is heavily polluted water and it's full of concentrations. It means it's a, a lot of uh, metals and it's coming from some, some factories and machining areas around there and they are doing their machining process. They're using their machines and building their products but a lot of their little tiny bits of metal is flowing into the water, making it impossible to use. It's unhealthy for humans. Well, we can see what's going on there. There's a fish full of little strings and things. That's terrible. That's not nice at all. <clears throat> and this is underwater. 
you can see what happens to your plastic bags. You gotta stop using those plastic bags and throwing them away. They blow away, they get into the waters. And this is really a big problem now because we can't clean this up. There's these tiny little specks, these little itty bitty dots of plastic. And that plastic is getting into fish. When you eat the fish, you're also eating that little tiny bit of plastic and that gets into the, the meat of the fish now. And we are eating the plastic that the fish were eating now. So something that we really have to clean up. So what does this have to do with engineering? Well, it's up to the engineers now to try and build things to clean this up. A lot of engineers are working on projects to first clean the water and try to get it back to a healthy state. And other engineers are working on ways that we can stop this plastic and, and contamination pollution from getting into the water in the first place. So it takes a, a lot of engineers, a lot of thinking and a lot of good ideas and a lot of help from you and me to keep our water clean, All right? So here's a picture of our water cycle. And this is a little bit of how our water is moving around. So why I wanna show you this is because if you make a problem right here, it's possible that some of your pollution will get up into the clouds, go down and back into another water body. So our problems don't just stay where we are. The problems spread out, right? So like if I dump a bunch of oil right here next to the slide, what happens is it could go into the groundwater and the groundwater, it moves around as well. Not very fast, but it does, it moves around. And eventually this poor tree might get some of my oil that was from way up here. And that poor tree won't be very happy, it won't live very well. All right, so I have a project for you. Uh, just like we always do, I will try, let me see if I can get my video onto the screen here. And let's see if we can watch this video about our cool little project. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn that down, push this over here. Let's make it nice and big. Here we go. All right, so what they're doing here, they're pouring some milk into a dish, uh, a bowl or a plate, any type of dish. You can use any milk and then a little bit of food color. And this is really cool experiment because it helps you to see just how much water spreads out chemicals. If you put a little bit of this substance, this chemical or whatever you put into other things, when it gets in contact with water, it spreads out a lot. And this is a good way for us to see just how much our pollution will spread out, right? Let's see what else they're gonna do in the video. Some green and blue food coloring. And now they're putting in some soap. All right, they're putting in some soap they are using soap, like a dish soap, not the hand soap, dish soap, but hand soap will also work. And all they're doing is using a cotton swab, a Q-tip, and they're putting it in the soap and then moving that into the dish of milk. Pretty cool. 
and look at that it's kind of like the beautiful ocean greenish bluish and it's moving around like the ocean currents always do and that little spot in the middle that is the soap now what happens if you put a little bit of pollution into this what's gonna happen you see the pollution that little bit of dark red Wow, it just moved. It's spreading out. It's moving all over the place. It's still moving. I wonder if it will pop up in another place. And this is why it's really hard for us to clean our water pollution because it spreads out so much. There it is, it's still moving. Oh, it's coming up again. There it is, it's coming back. There's the pollution again. We thought it was all over on the left side, but it's now it's on the right side as well. Oh dear, now it's everywhere. So one drop of that little red pollution has spread everywhere. You can try this at home, and I really think it's fun to do. And you can play with this for a long time because you can keep putting more soap into the milk, and it's really fun. It just keeps going and going and going. So, all right, I will leave that for you to play with and have a great time today. Uh, if you have any questions about the experiment or what we talked about today, feel free to chat with me. Other than that, have a great day. I miss you all. I'll see you after Songkran. Alright, bye-bye.